Features a multicolor light up strobe effect tool. Cool shooting function with expandable ammo clip. Rubber face masks that cover glow in the dark skulls. The lightest and fastest of the six Toa, Kongu protects his friends from vicious aerial attacks. His laser crossbow fires lethal arrows of pure energy that will split anything it hits into atoms. Review, this is my favorite set because it was my first Bionicle set and I like the way his mask looks. He is also the most epic looking Toa and he is fearless. Smiley face, Takanuva, Toa of Light, has returned in an all new form. Armed with twin light staffs, he must step up to battle the forces of Makuta once again. I thought he killed Makuta many years ago, but you can't complain about the return of Bionicle's first villain. Or is it a new villain? Whatever. The last form of Takanuva even has some really old pieces, and some great new ones. Let me get into the pros and cons, pros, truly faithful to the Oregonal. Return of the original Toa Nuva armor from 2002, shoulder armor, Kanohi mask same mold from the first Takanuva it even says 2002 on the back. I thought the first Toa of Light came out in 2003, but who cares about dates? New armor and feet. Minus 2009 Tarduk arms and legs, a special favorite of mine. Minus 2008 Fantoka Mataran head, another special favorite of mine. It even looks a bit like the first Takanuva's head. Light staffs two of them. Dual weapons are a sign of great skill, piece of golden armor, the best shade of gold Lego has ever achieved. Note, if you get two scrawl and put their golden armor on Takanuva, also adding the armor the latter comes with all in the places of the Oregonal white armor, you get a Toa that sure looks like a Toa of Light. Cons, thin pieces made since 2008 make it a bad idea to take him apart, non-flexible arms and legs. Why make a Toa the size of a Mataran? Bionicle is ending. That's the big con. I totally recommend this final light hero to anyone reading this review.